Okay, let's go for another one. I'm gonna do today uh, this bridge, it's a 2D structure, and it looks in something like this in the profile. And you can see here really awesome how the water performs going around these abutments. So, uh, yeah, let's just get it started. Uh, I will just create a copy from this geometry. Mm, the old a bridge so we can create a I close here and open in my geometry window and open the one that I just created and that is called bridge and it shows up okay so now I want to zoom in where my bridge is gonna be located that is here awesome Wait, a bit too much. No, the other way around. Awesome. And now we go for this one. Add new connection between 2D flow areas and storage area. Pencil shows up and from one side to the other. Double click. I'm gonna call it bridge. Amazing. And it shows like a zigzag, but we click on it and we enforce internal connection break line. It has just done a break line in a way that the cells are aligned with my structure. Now we go to this uh, edit connection between the storage areas to the flow areas. Click on it and look at this terrain profile. What we want to do is uh, let's, let's paint on it. We want to create a structure that goes from this side, something like this. And it's something like this, and like this, and like this, roughly. Uh, normally, you should take some measurements in the field, like your height and your width. So, to just yeah, so to know the opening the, that you let flow the water through. So what points I'm gonna uh, put as input in Hecras? This one, one here, just to say, draw something here. This point, this point, this point, this point, this point. I think, no, and this one too. Yeah, something like this. Uh, I already have it in, in Excel here, these points that I'm going to set as input. So I'm just going to copy those values uh, and I'm going to introduce them in first, a structure type, bridge, internal to the flow area. And now we go to the deck, roadway. And this shows up. This is where I'm going to copy my values. You can see that it's for the upstream profile, so right before our bridge, and for our downstream profile, right after the bridge. And those are the points that I have described before. Also, distance and width. What is that? The, uh, the width is the width of our deck. So in this case, I'm gonna put uh, five meters. And the distance is what uh, Hegra uses for uh, calculations. So in this case, I think um, we could use uh, also three. So I'm gonna set width uh, five and the distance three. Mm, just try to make it something that it goes with your, the cell size that you have. Of course, the width is something you can measure. The distance, you could try different values. And we click OK. Uh, yeah, we got it. Uh, we could also uh, create a peer. Uh, a peer will yeah, maybe create a structure like this in case we have a column in the middle or something. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to do it, just not to make it longer. Uh, about bridge modeling approach, I recommend to use this one and this one. I'm not going to go into details on this. I think. Uh, yeah, I think we will just leave it like it is at the moment. And then, one second, yes, we are just going to leave it like this. Okay, and then we go to the H tab parameters. These ones, I leave it as default. 
But uh, imagine you have some problems during computation, some instabilities, you could make those numbers a bit bigger. Headwater max maximum elevation. Here, my, my deck is 8.5 meters. If I think the water is going to flow over, I will put a higher uh, number here. Maybe 9 or 9.5, just to be sure. And hit OK. Uh, also important, options, external and internal bridge, bridge cross sections. Here I can see the bridge cross section that have been filled up automatically, but we need to set a manning value for the cross sections. If we just put the first value in the, in the column, Hegros will automatically use the same value for the rest of the rows. So this good. OK, and OK, and then we go to plan to check let's see if Hecras uh, complains then we have to make something better but if it doesn't complain it means that we have uh, mostly done it right uh, bridge two just copy paste copy and I paste the same for the ID okay and press So it seems it's reading the geometry okay. This is our first check. If head crash runs, it means that it's uh, doing good. And then the, our second check is uh, to look at our results. Uh, here where comes our critical engineer from inside that goes to the model and says, okay, uh, does it actually make sense what I am modeling? If in this case, I'm yeah, this will take some time. I think we are just going to leave it here. I can show you how to uh, create a profile to look better at uh, your results. Yeah. Like, we could go to the profile lines and draw a new one. Like, click, 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 and double click. Uh, put in lines three. And I can, I have this plan from before. And I have this other plan that doesn't have the bridge, but it's exactly the same. So we could compare them. So I just um, click those, leave the water surface elevation click, right click in my profile line, plot profile, water surface elevation. And here we can see we have this uh, water surface elevation from before, and then we can see the effect of the structure in uh, our levels. We could also, uh, see at evolution in time of it so at the different time steps that we have set up remember that these time steps that we have here are corresponding with the values that we have set up in the mapping output interval so here i have 15 minutes but i could have set up one minute or five minutes or one second depends how i want my results Yes, so I think that's it. Uh, lots of luck and I hope it goes well. And if you have any questions, just write it down and have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>